What's going on you guys? All right, today we are going to be talking about my Prinsu roof rack. I've had this for almost two months now, maybe three months. I have a few questions asking if I still like it. Are there any leaks? How is it now compared to when I first got it? Any problems at all? Well, I'm here today to answer you all those questions and what I really think about the Prinsu roof rack. The first and hardest thing about this roof rack was getting it on top. The roof rack is tough. I mean, put it on you have to really remove everything on the inside and if you guys don't know how to remove all those stuff on the inside I do have a video that you can check out right there or is it right here one of those spots will pop up right now go check out that video I'll have the unboxing and the installation and if you guys are in the Orange County area DM me I have somebody who can help you put that on well after you put it on because of the sealant to answer the first question there are no leaks I haven't experienced any leaks at all and it actually rained a couple of times after I got this. Before my Prince Sue rack, I had another roof rack. I took it off-roading once, I had my tires on there and the metal bent. I don't know what material it was made from but it bent and my tire almost fell off. I had to get out, took the tire down, put it in my trunk and now it's just bouncing around in the car. That was the biggest reason I wanted something different. Now the fact that I have my Prince Sue rack, I have my spare up there and I haven't had that problem ever. I've taken it off multiple times multiple trails up down bumpy stuff doesn't matter it has never been damaged it has never moved it's pretty tightly tied down it has hooks that you can strap around that hook and then you put it over your tires wrap it around your tire and it stays the best part about this thing is that it's fully customizable i put a shovel holder on the side of it hooked it on and I took that off-roading too even on the freeway and nothing happens it stays and it's super easy to install Prince also makes four handles and those handles are new they came out this year I believe and they're basically meant so you can grab it and pull yourself up before the handles I was grabbing the roof rack itself it's not nice feeling on the hand when you do that but now with the handles oh it's amazing I got four of them so four corners it takes up some slots, so you guys gotta choose carefully which side you wanna use it, which side you wanna install it on, and leave it there. I don't have an awning yet, so maybe if I have an awning, I might have to remove one. I don't know. We'll see when the time comes, but right now, those four handles just amazing. Any place I wanna go up there, I can see the whole thing. Then, the next part is the panels. The Prinsu panels only fit on the Prinsu rack. You can add the max tracks on it, you can add the case. There's just so many holes up there that you just make it and customize your whole setup. That means that no Prinsu rack, no cross track out there has the same setup. Unless someone just copied the other person, then it's basically the same thing. Let's talk about light bars. Prince makes their own light bar and Baja Design also makes their own light bar. But this right here with the Prince roof rack, I installed a light bar I found and that sounds so funny. I bought online and it works. It's not a Prince Design light bar, but it still works. Maybe I'll upgrade one day to the Prince Design light bar. One day. But right now that light bar works perfectly fine. So hey, it works and it fits. No whistling sound, but it does increase the noise inside the cabin. Because I have so many things on top and because it adds more weight and it's not really aerodynamic anymore. So when I'm driving on the freeway, it does make a sound, a loud wind sound. Not super loud because if I play music, I can't even hear it. So it's not so obnoxious that you guys would be super bothered by it. It won't be as quiet as stock. So keep in mind that it will be louder than how you normally would. Before you install it, Keep that in mind because the biggest thing about installing a Prince of Rag is that it's permanent. There is no removing it and selling it. Once you put it up there, it's done. If you guys didn't know that, it's because the holes on top where your old roof rack was, you got to make it bigger, a little bit bigger, and then this roof rack fits. So it's a permanent choice. I think it looks amazing and I don't think I'm going to remove it. I don't think I'm going to sell this car. It's probably going to be here until it dies and Subaru lasts forever which is amazing, right? The coolest part is that this is an overlander. This can go off-roading, this can go camping, this can go long distance. I'm trying not to review a Subaru and just review the Prince rack, but it just does all that and it's amazing. That's why if you guys have a Subaru Crosstrek, you might think to add a Prince roof rack. It really helps. It's flat, it looks beautiful, and you can just add everything on there. And when I say everything, I'm talking about even a tent. You know those camping tent you guys been seeing on Instagram or Facebook or even on YouTube? It can go on there. Well, you have to take some of those stuff out, but you can throw it in the trunk. The trunk space is huge. 
and then a tent can go right up there. It does come with this wind noise cancellation, which I highly recommend you guys get because without this, I can only imagine the sound that could be coming from it. With this, it kind of just blocks off this part and my frame, so then there is no wind sliding in the middle. That could actually cause a really loud whistle, and I've heard bad stories about that whistle, and I'm glad that I don't have to deal with it. So definitely add this when you guys get your Prince roof rack. It's very important. I also really love the design of Prince and I love the fact that they have it right here in front. It's really cool because when you drive by another Prince roof rack, you instantly know that they are the Prince of Roof Rack and it's kind of like a brotherhood because it, it, it's pretty cool. They also make it for full runners, you know, they also make it with Tundra. There's just so many options on there. I'm just super glad that they actually make one the Subaru Crosstrek. This car is finally coming up and it's just not that many modification out there just like a Tundra or a uh, full runner, but it's coming up. So definitely something to look out for. These are the handlebars I'm talking about. You can pull it, you can shake the whole car and it is fine. It's not gonna come out so I don't really have to worry about it breaking off. I can lift myself up, I can look on top and it all works fine. If you guys hear a lot of wind out here, I apologize because it is windy and I really need to make this video. And this back here is where I hook onto my like my shovel, my axe. If you guys go camping, you definitely need those. Everything on here is just customized. You just keep adding stuff on. And on top, I have two panels. And those panels right there have so many spots where you can add stuff to it. And I haven't even filled it all up yet, but if I wanted to, I can. There's a lot of stuff up there. You guys decide what you guys want to do with it. I'm just saying there are so many options that you, that you can just work with. My cross track is super dirty right now and I was going to clean it for this video, but I thought, nah, I'll just leave it dirty because I don't want you guys to think that I never take this car out and it's just in my garage or just there to look pretty. I added a Prince of decal on there because you just got to support what you believe in. So I just want to say that the Prince of Roof Rag is definitely the best thing I have installed on my Subaru Crosstrek. If you guys are interested in it, there's my link in the description below. Doesn't do anything, just let them know that I recommended you guys there. And you guys can just check it out. Click on the link, check out the other stuff. They got a bunch of stuff there. But they didn't pay me to make this video. They didn't tell me what I have to say. This is completely my honest review and what I feel about it. It's been two months and I freaking love this thing. It's amazing. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. Other than that, catch you guys in the next video. Later.